Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set All For Baby. Um, and I'll be using this baby grow image, this baby grow image, the pegs, the bib and the washing line. Dies wise I'll be using the baby grows and the pigs plus the po pockets and um, I'll be using little hands little feet big love for the inside outside and the inside I'll be stamping congratulations on your growing family which I never got out Obviously I've done that in pink, this one I'm going to do in blue. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of a balmy blue at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will go on top of that. A piece of whisper white at five and a half by three and three quarters, it's going on there, and a piece of Whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. That will go inside. I have some scraps for the images on the outside. I'm also going to be using my stamping press thing. Um, what's it called? Stamp Perfect this thing. Stamping positioning tool. Help me with the washing line. So let's get started. I'll do all our stamping first. So I am going to stamp the line first. Just put that there and get the line out. And pop that down. There. Bring that forward a bit. And I'm bringing in my Memento Black Ink. And just ink it up. All I want to do with that, wipe that down. Just makes it easier using my stamp positioner. that away. Right, oh, not doing very well at all here. Pegs. I don't think everybody calls these pegs. Some people call them line pins and we call them pegs because you peg the washing out. Right, I am going to pop these pegs I'm going to put, let's put one in the middle first and then I'm going to put one that side and one that side. I don't need that for now. 
Right, put that to one side and bring in some scraps. Now I have already got a bib because I did two when I did the pink one so I should just use that one. So all we've got to do is stamp out the um, two baby grows or onesies as they're called in America. We call them baby grows here. Stamp them out. I'm using balmy blue ink. Right, that's them stamped out. Now we need to do the sentiment. No, I don't want to use that. I'll use this because no, 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 no. this one. I'm going to cut it up, so I want to stamp it three times. Now the reason I'm cutting it three times is because, in case I make a mistake, what else do I have to do? Oh, the inside of the card. So. Find that, and we're going to stamp the inside. And Just trying to sit all my stamps on the wet cloth to soak up the ink. Right, so that's that done. Put that aside. And now we have to cut out um, these pieces. So I want this, this and the pockets. Ah, I know what I wanted to do. Right. I want some pockets, but all I want is blue. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Rather than start a new piece of um, blue card, I will just cut out two pockets from there. Just with them little. I've got no blue scraps left. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. Let's get cutting out these. Tops. Put that on there. Bit of tape. Um. that on there. Oh. 
no tape left so I'll have to make me a new bit of tape that there because I need that for the pockets. Right, there's one little suit. Bin. And there's the other little suit. And then we've just got these two small pockets to cut out. Right, and these two little pockets we're going to glue on this suit. So, hold them with a pair of tweezers because they're so tiny for my fat fingers. Bit of glue. And we're going to glue them and line them up with the line on the suit. And we have our two little pockets on there. Right. Next thing we're going to do oh, is a stencil. Now I used a heart on the girl one. Let's see what I can use on the boy one. Could use a brick wall on the boy one. Don't want flowers and God knows what else. These are all stamping up um, dies, uh, dies, stamping up masks. Right, and I haven't got my brush. Let me get my brushes. at all today as usual right got my ink and I'm just doing a light coat I'm not doing a heavy coat at all of this all I want is just a little bit of colour behind that'll do nicely so all I need just a little bit of colour behind there so we have got let's put these away before I lose them
two suits. And a grey bib. Very in the middle. And our sentiment. So we're going to cut off a big love. Right, I'm going to do this the right way. I'm going to put big love on the bottom and I'm going to put little hands and little feet up there. Now what we're going to do with these is dip them in the ink. Rather than um, put a mat behind them and just dip them in the ink like that being careful not to get ink actually on the sentiment side I did there Get rid of that one. What have I done with the others? Here they are. So I need little hand and little feet. Let's try again. Better. Knew there was a reason I had to cut them out, stamp them out three times. Right, we need some uh, what are they called? Dimensionals. That one's done. Big one on there. And I want to cut this one in half. Put half down there and half there. And then we also want dimensionals on these. Better using a pokey tool doing this because then my fingers aren't in the way and I can see what I'm doing. Nope. Need to cut them in half. 
Now let's put this card together. So, put this one in the inside. This one on the mat. And then put this one on the base. And then we should start sticking these down and taking the backs off a hundred dimensionals. And I know I've put it on the wrong side, but that's all right. We don't have to be on this exactly the same side. Mind you saying that, that one's a bit girly. That's all right. Like this one says little feet. So I'll put little feet this side. hands that side and big love in the middle oh forgot about the right we need to take this off down a bit. A bit more. See what gems we've got. Hmm. I'll we'll put these ones on. Right, I am going to put this one. And there. I never put any of these on the pink one so we will use this pink and there we have it hope you like it do it that way. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which will usually be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, 
and I hope to see you again soon.